lost in park. Our site is called Cardigo Green, where Aboriginals live here. The current design is actually an European idea of perfect circular footpath, traced row by row, Gothic revival building, like a French garden. Most of space in the middle is lawn, only without shelters, which is quite difficult to utilize during different weather, like hot summer and rainy days. Not only is the park not resilient enough against the volatile local climate, but also not adaptive to varied activities and uncertainties as well. Benches merely provide around the edge looks flashy but not comfortable at all. During the pandemic, the establishing connections and cares have been detached. Based on these constraints above, a new park design could be proposed. Our aims here could be categorized into bigs and smalls. The first big goal is to empower the site to be a creative, engaging and inclusive sense of place. The next big move is to promote architecture to the general public. The small ones are not less important one of which is to reconsider human dimension due to the restriction of social distance. Lastly, another small objective is to indigenize the site. The strategies which will achieve these aims could be summarized as this follow. Participatable and adjustable architecture guide people to utilize the park more efficiently by providing participatable and adjustable architecture for varied activities. Permanent and temporary structure make the place with both permanent and temporary structure to improve resilience and adaptability. Human centered design at eye level. Carefully design the architecture by considering revised human dimension and perspectives at eye level. Bring private exhibition to the public. Bring the exhibition from the enclosed private and online to the open public and on-site. Operational naturalistic language. Categorize the site with naturalistic forms and shapes that are derived from the Aboriginal culture, respect to the site. In order to generate the form of the landscape, a number of circles have been engaged on our site in response to the Aboriginal culture. A large area of lawn has been transformed into hot paving, as people are less likely to stay without any shelter. However, original functions such as laying on grass and having picnics are actually preserved. Additionally, a wide range of new activities are also allowed to happen such as skateboarding, open air exhibition and so on. The combination of light structure and an air dome has been applied, celebrating the beauty of architecture to general public. Entering from Maze Crest, visitors are able to notice the translucent dome and a wide range of activities such as walking dogs, studying on the lawn, or perhaps teenagers skateboarding as well. A couple of small gathering spaces are also provided to the public. Every single space is enclosed by a continuous pony wall with different heights flowing up and down, which forms different levels of enclosure and privacy. Since lively vibe is pretty crucial to the campus, we integrated a skate park into the landscape in order to create a more dynamic space and uni life for students. The site will be sheltered with abundant greeneries and both temporary and permanent structure in order to improve its adaptability and resilience against uncertainties. Big screen will be located at the center to rally the public for all kinds of exciting events. With meticulous human-centered architectural design, varied people with different backgrounds will be able to find their belongings to the place. Pavilions are actually engageable. Visitors have the opportunity to go up the slope and walk on the roof, take some photos, enjoy the pleasing landscape. In the meantime, they have the chance to make eye contact with people down below through the translucent air dome.
Exhibition pavilions as a core element in our theme highlight our idea of acceleration of architecture, which offers a nodal space to bring the art gallery in tin shape underneath the pavilions. In this case, everyone would be welcome to enjoy the exhibition, get to know more about the architecture. When no models need to be displayed, the air dome would be removed, and then the whole place would become a large spacious area which could hold different events. The combination of permanent and temporary structure maximizes the adaptivity and interactivity. After removing the atom from the pavilion, it could be used as an interactive art apparatus by a wide range of ways. For instance, visitors could climb on it, they could sit on it, uh, even roll over within the air ball. They can have a lot of fun with it for sure. So in conclusion, the whole idea about this project is to allow people to get connected and create the bond socially and culturally between each other, and also encourage everyone besides students and professionals to have a better understanding about architecture. That's basically all about our project. Lost in Park. Thank you.